Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is how to create a job in Jenkins. Let me answer. In order to create a job in Jenkins, first we have to start the Jenkins. And once you start the Jenkins and you log into the Jenkins, then you will be able to create a job. Let me practically demonstrate to you how to create a job in Jenkins. As I already told you, first we have to start Jenkins. So Jenkins.war file is already downloaded. How to download this Jenkins.war file? I have already answered for this question in the previous sessions. Okay, in the previous interview questions, I have answered how to download the Jenkins and how to install the Jenkins. Okay, once you download the Jenkins, install the Jenkins in your machine to start the Jenkins, in the location or folder location where the Jenkins.war file is available, type CMD, type CMD there, and here type the command. Okay, there is a command in Jenkins that is uh, Java hyphen jar, and you have to give the name of the file with the extension that is Jenkins.war. Press enter. It will, you know, it will start the Jenkins. Already Jenkins is installed, okay, downloaded and installed. So using the same command that we have used for installing Jenkins, we can start the Jenkins. We should get a message here saying Jenkins is fully up and running, okay? So let's wait for the message to come. Then we'll, okay, Jenkins is fully up and running. Then we'll open any browser and Jenkins by default will run on the port number 8080. Local host means your local computer's internet. Colon 8080 is the port number where Jenkins is running. This is the URL you have to give. And after that, you have to log into Jenkins. For that, I'll give Arun Motori and I'll give the password as 12345. Click on the sign in. Once you sign into Jenkins, want to sign into Jenkins, you'll be taken to the dashboard where you will have the options to create a job. Already one job is there, first project job. I am going to create another job using this new item option. If there is no job, there will be multiple options, but if there is existing job, you have to say new item. And here you have to give the, let's say second job, okay? Second job I am saying. And uh, here you can either select freestyle project or uh, Maven. I am going with the freestyle part now. Say okay. Once you select okay, then uh, you'll be taken to the this particular second jobs configuration page, okay, where you can, you will find all the different configurations to create that Jenkins job, okay, we have to configure that Jenkins job as part of its creation, okay, so Jenkins job got created already and we are being taken to the configuration page, so it's loading, let's wait for the configuration to be appeared on the page, once that is there, here, say advanced and you'll get this option use custom workspace and you have to give the Project place, okay. Project workspace. Uh, let's go to in my machine. I'll just take one location where this project is available. One of the projects is available. So that is nothing but uh, I'll be going here inside this workspace and inside one of the Maven project. I'll go and this is the project location, okay, where the form.xml file is available. You have to go there and uh, I'll be pasting that here, okay, project location. And after that, uh, I'll select none because source code management is there in my local machine. And uh, then uh, I'll simply go down and give the post build action as uh, published test change results. It will generate the test change results after running the scripts in this project. Okay. Now click on apply. And after that, save. Now, once uh, you can either go to the dashboard page or this job page. Okay. Or you can go to the dashboard. And uh, second project you can select here and from here you can say build now or you can click on the second job and you will be going to the job page and here build now option is there anyway. Okay, you can click on the build now from either from the dashboard or from here and uh, you can see the scripts running. Just click on this. You see it's passed already. Okay, it's kind of very fast and uh, okay, it got run. Okay, console output uh, and see that. Uh, on matching, but did not find any text change results. That's okay. Uh, advantages demo project. I think I need to take a different project here. So I'll just go to the configurations of uh, this job and uh, go to the project, a different project actually. So maybe Maven sample project, I'll go. I'll give the different project. 
so that we can see something running. Then I'll go to this Jenkins page and, uh, you know, advanced and change this uh, project location and apply and save. And again, build now, I'll say. Is it running? Yeah. It's very fast somehow. I don't know. Console output. Even project, uh, test ng. Looking for test ng results in workspace pattern. This is, I think I have to configure it well. I didn't configure it well. Mm. Okay, it's it's looking for test ng XML file to run the scripts. Okay, so what I'll do here is I have done some mistake in the configuration. I'll go to the configuration. I missed some configuration in this while creating the job. I gave the project location and I gave the source code management as none because my code is there in my local machine. And after that, this build steps I forgot. Okay, click on the build step and say invoke top level Maven targets. And here select Maven home, which I have configured. And then here say test M instead of MVN test, give test. That's it. Okay. Say apply save. This is missing actually. And now build now it will take time. This time it will run. Okay. Only one test is there, which will open the Chrome browser. Nothing much. You see the script is running. You will see the Chrome browser launching up. Okay. To prove that. I think the, there is a problem with the project. It seems the build is failing. Okay. There is a problem with the project. Maybe I'll, I'll go with a different project. You see, uh, maybe I have to take the other project I was talking earlier. So that is the Maven uh, Advantages demo project. Copy this project location, which has a test which will pass. And uh, again, configure, go here and uh, give the path here, advanced. Give the proper project path, which you want to run, apply, save. And then click on build now. This time, let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. You can click on this link also and say console output. You can see the console output going on. Okay, it's going on running. It should launch the browser, guys. That's the only thing I'm expecting. Nothing more than that. Tests are running now. Should launch the browser. Next, it's almost there. Yeah, browser got launched means it's working fine. Okay. Done. Test got build success. Test got passed. So this is what we have to do. Just create a job and uh, give the proper configuration. Don't forget to give that uh, that uh, commands and all while configuring. Okay. So let me repeat it to you uh, to you to conclude. Uh, while creating the job, you have to give this uh, project location proper project location. You have to give project proper project and uh, give it as none. If it is if the code is in the local machine, give as git. If the uh, code is in the GitHub repo. And uh, in the build steps, if you Maven home and give the goal as test and here test ng results should be generated somewhere here. So go to that pro project and see test ng results have been generated. Okay. Need at least two builds with to show that rent and all test ng results are not coming here. Maybe at the job level, it will be there. Click on the job and you'll give, see this test ng results and you'll be able to see the results. Okay. These are the results we got. This is the result. Okay. So one test is there that got passed. Okay. So hope guys, you understood how to create a job in Jenkins and how to run the job also in Jenkins. Okay. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.